Hey everyone, it's Marcos Castro, and today we're diving deep into building long-term wealth through smart investing. We'll explore proven strategies to help you make your money work harder in 2024 and beyond. Whether you're just starting or looking to level up your investment game, this video is packed with actionable advice to help you achieve your financial goals. So, grab a notebook, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. Before you even think about investing, you need to understand where your money is going. Tracking your expenses might seem tedious, but trust me, it's eye-opening. You'll be surprised to see how those daily coffees and subscription services add up. Once you have a clear picture of your spending habits, you can start optimizing. Look for areas where you can cut back without sacrificing your lifestyle. Can you switch to a cheaper phone plan? Do you really need all those streaming services? Small changes can make a big difference over time. Remember, every dollar you save is a dollar you can invest and put to work for you. Think of it like this. If you can save an extra $5 a day by bringing your lunch to work instead of eating out, that's an extra $150 a month. That's $1,800 a year. Now imagine investing that $1,800 year after year and letting compound interest work its magic. Suddenly tracking your expenses doesn't seem so bad, does it? There are tons of great budgeting apps out there like Mint, Personal Capital, or even just a simple spreadsheet. Find what works best for you and stick with it. The key is consistency. Make it a habit to track your expenses regularly, whether it's weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. And don't forget about those irregular expenses that pop up throughout the year like car maintenance or holiday gifts. Factor those into your budget so you're not caught off guard. By optimizing your expenses, you'll free up more money to invest and build a brighter financial future. So, take that first step. Start tracking your spending today. Now that you've got a handle on your expenses and are saving some extra cash, it's time to put that money to work. But before we dive into the exciting world of investing, let's talk about building a solid foundation for your portfolio with high-yield savings accounts and money market funds. Think of these as the safe and stable cornerstones of your financial house. They might not offer the highest returns, but they provide something even more valuable peace of mind. These options are all about preserving your capital and ensuring your money is readily available when you need it. Let's start with high yield savings accounts. These are FDIC insured, which means your money is protected up to $250,000 per depositor, per institution, in case anything happens to the bank. And while traditional savings accounts offer measly interest rates, high yield savings accounts actually pay you a decent rate for keeping your money with them. Plus your money is always accessible so you can withdraw it whenever you need it without any penalties. This makes high yield savings accounts perfect for things like your emergency fund, short term savings goals, or even just holding cash you might need in the near future. Next up we have money market funds. These are a bit different from savings accounts. They're investment funds that invest in short-term debt securities like U.S. Treasury bills and commercial paper. This means they typically offer slightly higher returns than high-yield savings accounts, but they also carry a slightly higher risk. However, that risk is still very low. So explore your options, compare rates, and find the high-yield savings account or money market fund that best suits your needs. All right, before we move on to the more exciting stuff like investing in the stock market, we need to address the elephant in the room high interest debt. This is the kind of debt that can really hold you back financially and it's crucial to tackle it head on. Think of it this way, every dollar you're paying in interest on high interest debt is a dollar that's not working for you, it's working against you. So, what qualifies as high interest debt? Generally, anything above 7% is considered high, with credit cards often being the biggest culprits. Those interest rates can be absolutely brutal, sometimes reaching 20% or even higher. The key is to create a plan and stick to it. There are two main methods people use to tackle debt, the snowball method and the avalanche method. The snowball method is all about motivation. You list your debts from smallest to largest, regardless of interest rates, and focus on paying off the smallest one first. Once that's gone, you take the money you were putting towards it and add it to the next smallest debt, creating a snowball effect. This method is great for building momentum and staying motivated because you get those quick wins early on. The avalanche method, on the other hand, is the more mathematically sound approach. You list your debts from highest to lowest interest rate and focus on paying off the one with the highest rate first. This method will save you the most money on interest in the long run. 
Which method you choose is up to you, but the important thing is to pick one and stick with it. Remember, paying down high interest debt is one of the best investments you can make. All right, now for the fun part, investing for your future. And when it comes to building long-term wealth, a Roth IRA and diversified index funds are like the dynamic duo of the investment world. First, let's talk about the Roth IRA. Think of it as your personal retirement account with awesome tax advantages. You contribute after-tax dollars, meaning you pay taxes on your contributions up front. But here's the kicker. When you retire and start withdrawing money from your Roth IRA, those withdrawals are tax-free. That's right, all those years of growth and compounding are yours to enjoy without Uncle Sam taking a bite. Now what should you invest in within your Roth IRA? That's where diversified index funds come in. Index funds are like baskets of stocks or bonds that track a specific market index like the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones Industrial Average. They offer instant diversification because you're investing in hundreds or even thousands of different companies with just one purchase. Think of it this way. Instead of trying to pick individual stocks like trying to find a needle in a haystack, index funds allow you to invest in the entire haystack. This spreads your risk across a wide range of companies, making it less likely that you'll experience significant losses if one or two companies perform poorly. And because index funds are passively managed, meaning they simply track an index, they have very low fees compared to actively managed funds. This means more of your money is working for you, not being eaten away by fees. When you combine the tax advantages of a Roth IRA with the diversification and low costs of index funds, you have a recipe for long-term wealth creation. It's like setting your money on autopilot and letting it grow over time. Start by opening a Roth IRA with a reputable brokerage like Vanguard, Fidelity, or Schwab. Then, choose a target date retirement fund or a diversified portfolio of index funds that aligns with your risk tolerance and time horizon. All right, we've covered a lot of ground from tracking expenses to investing in index funds. Now let's tie it all together with the importance of maintaining a balanced and diversified portfolio. Think of your portfolio like a well-rounded meal. You don't want to eat just one type of food, right? You need a variety of nutrients to stay healthy. Similarly, your portfolio needs a mix of different asset classes to weather market storms and achieve your financial goals. Diversification is all about not putting all your eggs in one basket. It's about spreading your investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, and even alternative investments like gold or commodities. Each asset class has its own risk and return characteristics, and by diversifying, you're essentially hedging your bets. When one asset class is down, another might be up, helping to cushion the blow and smooth out your overall returns. Now within each asset class you can further diversify by investing in different sectors, industries and geographies. For example, within stocks you could invest in large cap stocks, small cap stocks, international stocks, emerging market stocks and so on. The key is to find a balance that aligns with your risk tolerance, time horizon and financial goals. If you're younger and have a longer time horizon, you might be comfortable with a more aggressive portfolio that's tilted towards stocks. But as you get closer to retirement, you might want to shift towards a more conservative portfolio with a higher allocation to bonds. Regularly review your investment strategy, make adjustments as needed, and stay informed about market trends. So there you have it, a comprehensive guide to investing in 2024 and beyond. Remember building wealth is a marathon, not a sprint. It takes time, effort, and discipline, but the rewards are well worth it. By tracking your expenses, paying down debt, and investing wisely, you're setting yourself up for a brighter financial future. Don't be afraid to start small. Every little bit counts, and the most important step is to simply begin. Educate yourself, seek guidance when needed, and never stop learning. The world of finance is constantly evolving, so it's crucial to stay informed and adapt your strategies accordingly. Remember, the power to achieve financial freedom is in your hands. So go out there, make smart choices, and watch your wealth grow.